Boom! What's going on guys? Another Momentum Weekly video back in your life. In this video, I'm going to be talking about virtual tour softwares, excluding Matterport. These softwares give a little bit more of a robust and custom solution to your clients, and we are starting right now. What's going on guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe, and click that little bell too, so you get notifications whenever we post a new video, you will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support, and now the video you've been wanting to watch. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to read our fabulous blog done by our content team, simply go to MomentumVirtualTours.com slash blog slash virtual tour services. But in this video, like promised, I'm going to be talking about four different virtual tour softwares that Momentum currently uses to give our clients more of a robust custom solution. If you guys have talked with me, if you've hopped on a demo, if you just scheduled a consultation call to learn more about what we do, you know that I constantly preach about using other softwares. And a lot of people say, Sean, why don't you just use Matterport and be known for the Matterport? Why don't you just use Cloud Pano and be known for Cloud Pano? Well, in my opinion, that's a good strategy but it's going to be limited because the technology grows and grows and grows. There's going to be different kinds of drones, different kinds of cameras that you can utilize with all these other softwares, i.e. making a more custom and better and reliable solution for the client at the end of the day, right? So that's why I like to use all these different softwares, mix and match, and see what works best for the client. At the end of the day, it's whatever's gonna look best. I don't care if we're using one specific software over the other, it's all about the result at the end of the day. And if we can get something sold, if we can get something bought, whatever, right? If we can hit that market, whatever they're looking to do, that's exactly what we're trying to do, all right? So without further ado, let's go into the first one we'll talk about is Cloud Pano. Guys, I absolutely love Cloud Pano. We've been talking about this for a while now. Let me actually show you guys something we did in Colorado. And this is something where it's actually going to blow your mind. This is an aerial virtual tour, guys, of the Cloud Pano software, which we did in Denver, Colorado. So it's not completely finished yet, but and this is only a little bit of it. But as you can see, these beautiful, beautiful Rocky Mountains. And this is Monitor right here. So they're a um, pretty much a uh, asset holding brand where they have a boatload of other brands under them. But as you can see, this is all taken by drone. This is an aerial virtual tour. You can go over to this blurb right here and check it out. You can go over here. And then when we're completely finished with this, you can actually click into the building and then go take a virtual tour from there, which is awesome. You can see, you can also hype in, hop into virtual reality. You can also share this with your content team, put it on Facebook, put it in the embedded code, share on social media as well. Something else you can do, which we're not completely finished with this yet, but we can also brand this out on the left. So we're gonna have the Manatree logo. We're gonna have a bunch of um, information. And we're also gonna have a little box right here that says request information. So you have to think, let's say for instance this is the commercial space and people are looking to obviously get more attractions get more um, buyers so you could click this metaphorical box right here type in all your info and that info gets directly sent to the agent to the listing agent which is awesome so they get leads right at their fingertips and it's really really simple so if you guys are looking for a custom software i know i'm going to go into a bunch of uh, other tour softwares that do this but Cloud Panda is pretty solid. I really love Zach Calhoun's product with this. Just very simplistic, gets the job done and offers a pretty damn good custom solution. Okay, check back in in a couple of weeks. We'll have the final uh, edition for Manatree. All right, so that's that. And the second virtual tour software I wanna go into guys is Kula. So Kula is one of these softwares where I've kind of picked and prodded a little bit in the past, haven't completely utilized it i'm not going to talk about the price i just really want to talk about the features in this one but as you can see let's go over to the hunter fixed ops expo and similar design as you can see to cloud pano you can see again who did it it's kind of like a vimeo view right where how many views how many likes i'll give you guys a like later who did it and then what's cool is you can actually click into let's say we wanted to go to the large dealership you can click into that you also have graphics that can pop up 
And if you just want to go back to the plane view, more of a floor plan type atmosphere, you can do that. And then this is pretty cool as well, which is very in depth. From this floor plan view, you can get a three dimensional, uh, pretty much a simulated version of what it would be like to have someone working on this. So, and then populates a video and it kind of explains a lot more. So this is something pretty cool. I think this is a little more robust than Cloud Pano, obviously. And uh, for what you're looking to do with your clients, again, depending upon what they do and what they need, I think this is definitely something that is a game changer in its entirety. So let's check out this, another promo video. Promo videos all over the place, I love it. That's what I would do. Beautiful simulated model. This is just awesome. But you guys get the idea is it's a little bit more in depth, right? Where you can include, again, it, you can include uh, videos and all this other stuff, but it just looks a lot cleaner. It looks a little more sophisticated. And then if you want to go back to the floor plan, go back to the aerial view that we saw before, and then go into the floor plan, the bird's eye view and do that. So yeah, I think Kula is uh, definitely something we need to experiment more on, but just to give you guys a feel of what it would look like, definitely check it out. You can't go wrong. All right, the next one I want to talk about is Pano 2 VR. Guys, I'll be honest, Pano 2 VR is probably the least experienced software I am. Uh, I've, I have the least experience with it, that being said. So definitely give me recommendations because I'm pretty ignorant on this. Um, I kind of just want to get a quick sample right here. Although I have used it for one client. I want to see, ooh, I like, I don't actually really like that. So with Pano 2 VR, this is probably one of the most, at least in my opinion, transparent and overall, I would say lucrative virtual tour softwares. You can check out sites, you can check out all these other things. You can toggle it, shops and restaurants. Let's go to the Black Arcade. It's just very sophisticated, right? Now, something that I will say is this kind of reminds me of a Google Street View where you, again, like for a big mall like this, it's not like you can tell people, you know, get out of here, we need to close down, that you're gonna have people in the shot. And with a lot of businesses, some people are adamant on having people in the shot, some people aren't. So kind of just keep tabs on what the client wants. Again, you know, with the center palace right here, I forget where this is again, so I guess somewhere in Europe. It kind of reminds me of Spain actually. Um, yeah, but if you want to have people in there, be my guest. If not, then again, you would have to block off the street. And in terms of the editing, I mean, you can see right here, this is a little too bright. So I would have liked to see a little bit better finished product. But again, this is pretty solid. I mean, for, for what you're getting, this is, uh, this is pretty cool, actually. All right, so that is Pano 2 VR. Definitely, definitely check it out. And last but not least, guys, let's go into 3D Vista. 3D Vista, if you guys aren't familiar, is, in my opinion, the, I would say, best virtual tour software on the planet. And let me show you why. So let's click to play. So this was actually created by 3D Vista. Shot him. Enemy down. So you can create a game, right? You can create a simulation for medical training with e-quizzes and e-learning capacity. Operating room. So this is pretty cool. So what am I doing? Is this guy getting a lobotomy? Um, okay, cool question. They're going to ask me what this is. Let's see. Guys, guess this in the comments. Which one do you think it is? What material is missing in the insertion? I don't know. Um, facial surgery scissors. Irrigation serum. No, I don't think it's that. Alpha separator. I think it is the scissors. There's no scissors in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Cool. Look at me. I could be a doctor already. 
So guys, you get the understanding that you can literally create anything from this, right? It doesn't have to be just real estate, which we'll go into right now, but it can be something completely different. If you just want to make a quiz, if you want to make a video game, I mean, it's just so amazing what you can do with this. There's a lot of JavaScript that goes into this, that this is why the Matterport and a bunch of other tour softwares are a little more lucrative. That being said, there's so much to do. There's so much to do with cloud with um, 3D Vista. So you can go up the stairs. You can check that out. Like, how cool is that? You have all these custom things in the property. I'll click play here that will take you through. I mean, look at that drone. I mean, how beautiful, how beautiful is this? I mean, where is this LA? I have no idea. Whew. That is crazy. See, that is capturing the sale right there. I don't care what you say. That is capturing the sale. Cool. So you get a feel for what you can do with 3D Vista, guys. Oh, what do we got here? From ENV, cool. I love that. A little philosophy of the property. That's cool. So guys, that being said, these are four softwares that I would say kind of transcend and make a custom solution for your clients. Definitely, definitely check them out. That was Cloud Pano, Kula, Pano 2 VR, and I'm on 3D Vista right now. If you guys need more information, go to MomentumVirtualTours.com slash blog slash virtual tour services. We go in depth with pricing, benefits, everything that you need to know to make an educated decision when picking virtual tour softwares. Remember, in my opinion, and you might not share this opinion, it's just mine. I say, use all the virtual tour softwares to your advantage if you can, and give your clients the best, most custom solution that they could possibly need. Because if you can take what the client has in their mind and replicate that in some sort of, uh, some sort of a virtual production, that's exactly what they're looking for. They're gonna pay you a lot of money for that. They're gonna pay you a lot of money, they're gonna be happy, and ultimately, you're gonna get good reviews and you're gonna get referrals. That's the whole point of this, right? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you got any value from this, absolutely obliterate the like button. Comment below what your favorite virtual tour service is, whether that's 3D Vista, whether it's Cloud Pano, Coolip, Pano 2 VR, or if you just like Matterport, that's awesome too. Uh, I'm not crapping on Matterport. I'm just giving you guys other examples. All right. So guys, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Literally making these videos is such a pleasure. It's so freeing to do it every single week for you guys and educate the populace. So that being said, thank you guys so much. And we will see you on the next one.